Invisible to the naked eye, yet devastating as an agent of global warming, methane makes up one-third of the gases heating the planet. And lift off Falcon 9. Earlier this week, U.S.-based NGO Environmental Defense provided a huge piece to the methane puzzle with the launch of a new satellite with the ability to accurately pinpoint the source of emissions. The network of satellites currently being used aren't very accurate, and the data they do collect takes too long to process. But what really makes methane sat a game changer is that anybody will be able to access the data on Google Earth. Um, we are entering a new era of transparency, and it's really going to help us, um, you know, as NGOs uh, working with governments to un inform uh, policy and, and reduce those emissions. We're now aiming for at least 75% reduction. Canada was aggressive in its methane reducing promises at the most recent UN climate change conference, pledging to reduce emissions 75% by 2030, above the 30% goal set for most countries. Methane emissions largely come from leaks or gas flares as oil is pulled from the earth. I've been to 15, 20 countries uh, over the last two to three years working on oil and gas methane emissions. And the stuff that I see in the US, the stuff that I see in Europe, it's all the same. It's all the same problems. It's easy to fix. I mean, we're talking about, um, you know, plumbing problems for the most part. The current data shows methane flares emanating from Alberta's oil and gas industry, but those pale in comparison to hotspots in other parts of the world. The major players when it comes to leaks are China, Russia, and the U.S., and it's not even close. The question is, if major players in countries with fewer regulations will act on the information methane sat provides. It is going to be uneven. We are going to see methane emissions continuing to increase, probably in some jurisdictions. But by being able to demonstrate in Canada that we can reduce emissions, that, would, that will make it easier to do it elsewhere as well. We can show the, what are the practices, what are the technologies to reduce methane emissions. When it goes online in 2025, methane sat won't plug any leaks but it will hold companies and countries accountable. Mike Trollet, Global News, Toronto.